Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. In my previous video, we had technical and conceptual discussion about providing bent up or crank bar in beam or slab. But in this video, we are going to discuss that how to calculate the cut length of a crank bar or bent up bar. So let's start our today's topic. But before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's start. So the data required to calculate the cut length of a crank bar or bent up bar is that you will have to know the diameter of the bar that you are going to provide as you can see over here this is the 12 millimeter diameter of the bar so and the second thing you have to know is clear cover which is generally taken as 25 millimeters or you can say it is also called as concrete cover okay and the third thing you must know is clear span which is 9000 millimeters and the thickness of slab is 200 millimeters and the most important thing is development length which is also called as encourage length which is 40 times of d where small d is the diameter of that bar which is 12 millimeters okay so the formula we are going to use is cutting length is equal to clear span of the slab which is 9000 millimeters plus two times development length as it is also called as encourage length and is provided at both ends of the beam or slab as you can see over here this is the length which is exceeding beyond or you can say which is extending beyond the clear span of the slab or beam is in the direction of L that's why it is called as development length okay then there comes two times inclined length this is inclined length of the bent up bar then there comes two types of bend deductions one is 45 degree bend and other one is 90 degree bend and 45 degree bend is four times which means that there are 45 four 45 degree bends as you can see over here one two three four then there comes 90 degree bends which are at the corners of the beam or slab as you can see over here so keep this formula in your mind and remember it okay so this is the formula that we are going to use so uh, in technically there are few shortcuts to write this formula as you can say the clear span is 9000 millimeters and development length is two times as we discussed development length is provided at the corners of the or at the ends of the beam or slab and they are two in numbers that is two times ld then there is two times inclined lengths that is inclined length of the crank bar okay which is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.42 times of d where d will be discussed in the upcoming slide and as I told you there are 445 degree bends and the bend deduction for 45 degree bend is one times diameter of the bar then there is 90 degree bend uh, and they are two in numbers and the bend deduction for 90 degree is taken as two times diameter of the bar it is very important to clear that small d is the diameter of the bar and LD is development length of the bar and capital D is height of the bending bar so we will have to rewrite this formula in BBS format so that you might not get confused when you get PBS in your hand on the site if you are working as a site engineer or a site supervisor you must be familiar with these terms so by rewriting this formula it will be equal to clear plane plus 2 times LD plus 2 times 0 0.42 of the D which is inclined uh, you can say which is the depth of the crank bar okay minus bend deduction which is for 45 degree and this is for bend deduction of 90 degree okay so in this formula everything is known to us but we will have to calculate this D 
okay and this d is equal to thickness of the slab minus two times clear cover minus diameter of the bar okay so this will be equal to 200 which is the thickness of the slab minus two times clear cover from above side and from below side okay so concrete cover will be deducted and then diameter of the bar which is 12 millimeter will be deducted and it will be equal to 138 millimeters so capital d is equal to 138 millimeters so by putting the values this is clear span of the slab multiply by 2 times 40d as development length is generally taken as 40d for tension members like slabs and beams plus 2 times of as you can see over here 2 into 0.42d and d is the uh, value of depth of the crank bar okay and it is equal to 138 millimeters so by putting values then there are bend deductions 1d is for 45 degree bend and they are 4 in numbers then there is 90 degree bend which is generally taken as 2 times diameter of the bar and they are 2 in numbers now by further simplifying and by putting values as this is very clear that this is the clear span of the slab and 2 times 40 into d d is the diameter of the longitudinal bar or crank bar plus 2 times 0 0.42 times 138 138 is the depth of the crank bar then there are deductions of 45 degree band and 90 degree band and 1 d d is the diameter which is 12 millimeters and 4 is the number of 45 degree band and 2 times d d is the diameter of the bar and there are 2 90 degree bands so by simplifying it will become 960 and this value will become 115.92 and deductions will be equal to 45 48 sorry so by simplifying we will get cut length which is equal to 9979.92 millimeters and if we round off this value we will get 9980 millimeters which is equal to 9.98 meters so that's how by using this formula you can calculate the cut length of a bent bent up bar or crank bar having the clear span of 9000 9, millimeters so that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates